Bilateral and multilateral agreements on environmental issues date back to the 1800s. Previously, they focused primarily on the protection of fisheries and the conservation of flora and fauna. However, these agreements also needed to evolve with the evolution of technology, population growth, and the interconnectedness of people within their natural environment. These agreements needed to include the protection of individual lives and communities vulnerable to the present environmental catastrophes. On the 28th of July 2022, the United Nations General Assembly declared that everyone on the planet has a right to a healthy environment. This landmark decision is the result of decades of mobilization of various players. This Human Rights Day will recount some of the tragic events that befell activists that fought a perilous fight for their environment and community. In Sarawewa was a Nigerian writer, television producer and environmental activist. Ken Sarawewa led a peaceful movement for the environmental and human rights of Nigeria's Ogoni people, whose oil-rich land has been exploited by multinational oil companies. The Nigerian government executed Sarawewa in 1995. Fekele Sangase was a South African KwaZulu NATO, an environmental activist who was assassinated in 2020. Fekele Sangase, 65, was involved in a legal dispute over the extension of an open cast mine operated by Tendeli Coil. Near Somkele, close to Lilwi, and Fulosi Park, the oldest nature reserve in Africa. Joanna Stotchbury was a Kenyan land and environmental rights defender who worked tirelessly to defend the Kiambu forest and protect and conserve Kenya's natural resources. For many years she had spoken out against land grabbers and well-known private developers who had excised part of the Kiambu forest. Because of her work to protect the forest from encroachment, she received multiple death threats. The society we live in today places more emphasis on the profits of multinational corporations rather than respecting the livelihoods of local communities safeguarding their indigenous land and access to their natural resources. The continued threats to environmental defenders is a further indication of the power this capitalist system takes away from local people. We must prioritize the health and well-being of our local people above everything else. If we live in a way that respects the environment, we live in a way where people will not be exploited. Across the African continent, our activists are being imprisoned or receiving death threats for speaking out against injustice. We demand that environmental defenders in Africa and across the world be protected for protecting what's theirs. We demand that we protect those protecting the environment.